Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to be creating uh, one of my faceted bead art letter squares. I will be using the stitch called the Diamond Weave. If you'd like to learn more about the Diamond Weave, please visit these websites. Today we're going to be creating the letter J with the Diamond Weave. You'll start at the top left and you'll add your beads in this order. So we need four background colors. Let those drop. And I use tape to keep my beads from falling off. You want to find the first two beads you just added again and go through them in the same direction as the first time. There you have your first four beads. Then we add the next four. Again, all background color. Let them drop down. Then we find the first two that we just added. Go through them in the same direction. And then we have the first two sets of beads. And you keep adding the first row in the same order. Now we need two backgrounds. A design color. And a background. We find those first two, go through them in the same order, direction, and that gives us our first three sets of beads. Now for the last set of beads, For the first row, you'll add them in the same order. We want all background. But for um, work, working with fishing line, I find it best to go through all four beads again. So go through all four beads. Making sure to go in the same direction that I went the first time I threaded through them. Let them circle up. Then I want to go through the top two or first two again. And that puts me in the same position as I do with end with the other sets. So I want to go through one more bead going the side bead going down towards the where the next row will be added. So there's your top row and your string is coming out the bottom of your top row. And now this row we will add in this order. So we need all background color. Then we come up to the bottom of our previous row and we want to see where our string is coming out. We want to go through the next two beads on the bottom of the previous row.
My string seems to be stuck. Don't see what it's stuck on. I don't know what it was stuck on. Now, if your um, beads you just added twist, do not worry about it. Just leave them as they are for now. That's these. Now we add the next set in the same order. So we're going to need two design colors. and two background colors. And again, we come up to the bottom of our previous row. We see where our string is coming out and we go through the next two. You wanna make sure that they're the bottom beads of the previous row. We add the next set of beads. This will be all background color. Then we come to the bottom of the previous row, go through the next two beads. And we come to the last set of beads for this row. We will add them in the same order. Need four background color. Then for the last set of a row, you want to find the first bead you just added. Go through it in the same direction as your first threading. Then, you want to go to the previous set of beads and untwist them if they're twisted. Then, the, looking at the top two of that set, not the bottom two, but the top two of the set, you want to go towards your previous row with the first bead that's closest to the beads you just added, and then away from the previous row with the second bead. And there, that brings your beads together. So then, we untwist the next set, and we go towards the previous row with the first bead and then away from the previous row with the second bead. And there are pieces coming together. Last one, untwist if needed. Then go towards the previous row and then away from the previous row. And there we have our first two rows of beads. And again, we want to go through this last side bead here so that our string is coming down towards where we'll be adding our next row of beads. And now we're back over here, so we're going to add one, two, three, four. So that will be four background colors. Then we come to the bottom of our previous row and we go through the next two beads. Now I need two design colors.
two background colors. And go through the next two beads on our previous row. This time we need two background. And a design and another background. Then we go to the bottom of our previous row and go through the next two beads. And now we've come to the last set. We add them in the same order. That would be four background colors. drop and we find that first bead again. We go through it in the same direction as the first threading. Then we go to our previous set of beads and we untwist and the first top bead we go towards the previous row then we go away from the previous row. Then we untwist the next set. We go towards the previous row. And then away from the previous row. twist the last set if needed and go towards the previous row and then away. And there we have our third row added. Oh, forgot we got to go through that side bead so that our string is coming down where we want to add our next row. And we add the last row in the same order. So we have four background color. Go through the bot next two beads on the bottom of your previous row. Now we add three backgrounds and a design. and go through the next two beads on our previous row. Now we add a design and three background. And we go through the next two beads. And then we add our last set for this piece. All background color.
we find that first bead that we just added go through it in the same direction as the first threading and we come to the previous set of beads untwist if needed we go through the first bead towards the previous row and then the second bead away from the previous row and we find the next set untwist go towards the previous row and away and then untwist the last set and you go towards and you go away and that gets all our beads on now with this um, stitch the top here all the beads are connected and this one side they're all connected but along the bottom and this side they're not so the next thing you want to do is you want to go down towards the bottom of your piece with your thread and then you just want to weave along the bottom and then weave up this one side your strings are together so we're going to take the tape off and we're going to tie our knot this usually you can't do with a one needle stitch but as we do bring our two strings together we can tie our knot which is a single followed by a double and then don't pull tight at this point but we want to slip it inside that corner bead And once your knot is inside the bead, then you can pull tight. And then I like to weave through a few beads to have my string away from the knot so that the knot doesn't over time work itself loose. And then once you've weaved away from where your knot is, then you can trim off the excess. And there you have your letter square. Hope you enjoyed.